A Bay Area man says his father died from COVID-19. He was fully vaccinated. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Lee. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us tonight. But the father also had pre-existing conditions. Nico Clemens is at St. Joseph's Hospital in Riverview with the story. Nico. Yeah, another heartbreaking story. Daniel Madry went into the hospital here three weeks ago. He died 10 days later. He and his family thought the vaccine was enough, even with his pre-existing condition, but there was just so much they didn't know. Now his son is sharing his father's story, hoping to save someone else's life. Once he got the vaccine, it was just a huge weight off his shoulder. At 61 years old, Daniel Madry was in good shape. He was as healthy as an ox. I mean, he was 61 and basically had a six pack. So what happened to him completely blindsided his family. Madry died days after getting COVID-19. He was fully vaccinated. This disease was just destroying him. The doctors diagnosed Madry with a form of leukemia last year. His son Mike says his dad wasn't receiving treatment and doctors were taking a watch and wait approach. Unfortunately, Madry's body wasn't able to fight off COVID-19. He was immunocompromised. He never was told once that the vaccine wouldn't work for him. Dr. John Green is the chief of infectious diseases at Moffitt Cancer Center. He says those who have cancer, like leukemia, have weak immune systems and a greater risk of dying from coronavirus. Even in our best situation, some people still may not survive an infection, but especially those that are older and the more immune suppressed. Dr. Green says that's why there's a push to get a booster shot. So if you had a booster shot and your immune system, which is already suppressed, is boosted three to five times or even higher, then it gives you the ability to fight off infection. Madry now hopes something positive comes from this tragedy. I just hope that his story will allow somebody who might have COL or, or another um, disease that leads them immunocompromised to realize that the vaccine might not protect you against, against COVID. Madri said this is a conversation he wishes they had with doctors uh, before his father's ultimate death last week. So he's encouraging people, hey, if you're in this group, if you're immunocompromised, go ahead and talk with your doctors. Have that conversation about what you need to do in case you're, again, fall, in case you fall underneath this group. What do you need to do to protect yourself from COVID-19? Live in Riverview, I'm Nico Clemens, 8 on your side.